All right, you guys, let's check out my book outlet order. I have not peeked through this guy yet. Um, it is uh, one of those things that takes so long for it to get here. It's like Christmas all over again because I don't actually remember what I ordered. Um, so let's take a look. This is, I remember now, this is the one I ordered the day that I shared with you guys that they had the Calpurnia Tate books. Um, so I ordered the ones that we didn't already have. I love this series. Uh, this is great for early chapter book readers or a read aloud. It's got a lot of science and nature involved in it, animals, um, and it's just kind of a fun, easy read. I really enjoy this series and highly recommend it. Um, for my son, we've got American Hunter, How Legendary Hunters Shaped America. So he is interested in hunting. This is going to bring a little bit of history into it. Um, so he can get a little bit out of that. We are doing a lot of wolf stuff. Um, I don't know why. I mean, we are the wolf way. I guess it makes sense that we'd, we would be learning about wolves. <laughs> but um, we enjoyed Poppy by Abby and I saw this and it had good reviews. And so we might give this one a run. Um, we've also got this one. It's called The Wolf, A True Story of Survival and Obsession in the West. This I actually read reviews on, and it is about a wolf. This is a true story about a wolf that lived in the Oregon area along the um, Pacific coast. Um, this is probably one I will read myself uh, while they're also reading about wolves. Uh, I like to read books myself for two reasons. I'm just very themey that way, so I like to... Um, be on topic with what I am reading sometimes, but also because I feel like it gives me a deeper understanding so I can more easily answer questions for them, um, give them information on things. And so I just, I don't know, I find that I enjoy going deeper into a topic so that I can bring more to it when we're having those discussions. Let's see, this one is called Soldier Boy. And it's probably one that takes place in another location. And that's probably Africa. Uh, Uganda. Um, so some of these bigger ones I'll read through first. Um, it is definitely how you want this is likely going to be either a read aloud or a mommy book um, for the time being. The Book of Boy. So I have read mixed reviews on this. Um, I'm probably going to read this one too before I read it with the kids. But it was very topically um, fitting for us. Uh, let's see. A boy who can talk to animals, a perilous journey full of bravery and daring, knights and bandits, ghost thieves, howling wolves, donkeys, bones, lords, ladies, liars. Um, and I don't remember all the details about it, but there were mixed feelings because I think that it has some things that don't overlap with the truths in the Bible but it's supposed to be a really good story. So I don't always have a problem with reading things that don't match up as long as we have the wisdom to decipher between the two. And sometimes it's a really good talking point. Um, so I went ahead and got it. I may read through it so I'm a little bit more prepared for what we encounter, but it had overall really good reviews as far as the story itself. Let's see, we've got Wild Wings. Now, all of these, I, I research um, reviews before I order them to make sure that they are at least enjoyable. I also um, make sure that they kind of overlap topically with something that we're studying. And this one I don't remember off of the top of my head, but all of them somehow overlap topically in some way in most situations. Once in a while, I will get something that just looks like a really good read. Uh, this one is a World War II tale, The Hazardous Tales. These are also really good books, and we will be doing World War II, second semester, and I thought my son would really enjoy this. Last Man Off, A True Story of Disaster and Survival on the Antarctic Seas. I thought this would be an interesting read while we do our Antarctic study. A read aloud based on a true story. Those are always interesting. My son is super into nonfiction, uh, true story type things. Um, this one is called Fort. This is the 100% true story of the summer. Uh, I was 11 and built a fort in the woods with my friend. Uh, spent my summer vac. I handed it. What it isn't the story I handed into my teacher. How I spent my summer vacation. 
there's stuff that happened that we really didn't talk about in school, not unless you want to get in trouble. So this is talking about um, basically fishing, hunting, cooking, campfires, uh, some fighting. I actually got this one for my son also. Um, and so I thought that this would be interest for my son. Speaking of nonfiction, this one, actually my daughter is also really into um, forensics and crime and that type of thing, FBI. And so um, this one I had read good reviews on Amazon years ago and it was kind of on my radar. And so when I saw it come up, I grabbed it maybe a little soon for my daughter, but I think my son will really enjoy it. Uh, this one is for our World War II study, a Jewish soldier in Hitler's army, unlikely warrior. And so this one um, I read is kind of fascinating because it's a perspective you don't expect to see. It is a Jewish soldier in the army, and it's written from his perspective. Let's see here. We've got real food, fake food, why you don't know what you're eating and what you can do about it. We do a lot of... Um, I do a lot of reading on foods and gut health and all that kind of stuff. So this one is actually for me. It will be a mommy read. Okay, so overlook the title on this because I thought it was too interesting to pass up. I may limit what my kids can see in this. I may only choose some pages, but it was so funny. <laughs> and some of what they say is so funny. Some of it's inappropriate. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to tag certain pages that look like they are appropriate for the kids. And we will kind of look at those ones. Um, because the, we are doing, um, we're looking at evolution versus creationism and Darwin and just animal evolution. And so I thought that this would be kind of a fun book to overlap with. There's just some funny stuff in here. If you have a sense of humor, this book could be really fun and interesting. If you don't, you might want to pass it up. <laughs> uh, this one is called Fins. But, uh, I had my eye on this one for a while. I know it's Shark Week this week, and it just didn't fit into our schedule very nicely, but we really are planning on doing um, a shark topic at some point soon. Um, so I got this as a, this is just a fictional read with a lot of good nonfiction information in it from what I understand. And it is one of a series. The Green Book has to do with survival, a dying planet, supplies dwindling, um, it is a short book. Should be a pretty easy read. This one is called Hidden. An accidental kidnapping leaves two girls grasping for answers. I have no idea why I bought this. <laughs> Must have looked good. They meet at a summer camp. Uh, talks about a girl Hungry, thirsty, trapped, terrified. I suspect I got this maybe for me. I must have thought this looked interesting. I will definitely be reading through it first before I decide if my kids can read it. I don't know. I'll have to look into this one more. Honestly, I don't remember. See, this is the problem with ordering something a month ago. Dirt Road Home. So this is the second book to the, um, there's an Alabama, here, Alabama Moon that I showed you guys from my last order. Um, this is the second book in the series. It's supposed to be a fabulous series for like middle-aged boys. So I grabbed that. Under the Persimmon Tree. So this one had mixed reviews as well. This is probably going to be one I'm going to read first. It's supposed to be quite emotional from what I understand. It's not a happy ending, or maybe it ends up being a happy ending, but the approach there, sorry, I had to get off of my knees. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a rough ride. So this one might be one that I read um, for now. You know, some of the stuff my son could probably handle, but my daughter is almost 11 so she's kind of teetering on that spot where some of it still is a little much for her um so we shall see a hope more powerful than the sea 
Teen Refugees, Incredible Story of Lost Love and Survival. This is a bigger, definitely middle grade level. The Tiger, a true story of vengeance and survival. I thought this one would be interesting with our endangered topic. Also more of a middle grade level. Here's another Calpurnia Tate book. So these were the two that we hadn't read in the series. We've read all the other ones, I believe. All right, uh, Saving Lily. Can Aaron and David rescue an endangered elephant? So endangered animal unit. This is definitely more of a um, higher middle grade chapter book. So one that my daughter could hang with. Leica. This is um, about the space dog. And I have a, an Osborne picture book um, that is a good introduction to her. Um, but this is one that I thought my son could read. I got him the fun schooling space book. Um, and then my daughter also has the dog one. And so this one would be able to overlap with both of those studies. So I thought that would be a good one. And then this is Blizzard of Glass. The Halifax Explosion of 1917. I thought my son would find this one fascinating. Again, he's really into the nonfiction. Lincoln's Last Days, Bill O'Reilly. Now, there's also a Hitler one that I ordered from a different place. Um, but I'm curious to check this out. It had really good reviews. And I, I honestly don't know much about it, except that it seems to be a really good set of books. He's got a few of these. Wild Awakening, How a Raging Grizzly Healed My Wounded Heart. And this one um, is written, I believe it's a religious-based perspective about a guy who was um, stuck out in the wilderness and um, he kind of had an awakening when he was out there and it had to do with a grizzly bear and um, it looked really interesting. I'm not sure yet if that's gonna be a mommy or a kiddos or both. A naturalist goes fishing, casting in fragile waters from the Gulf of Mexico to New Zealand, South Island. I got this as just a free read for my son in line with his fishing unit. This one I got just because it was timely and fascinating. Patient Zero, Solving the Mysteries of Deadly Epidemics. So this doesn't overlap with anything, but I thought it was going to be an interesting read. I'm really curious. It covers all of the different, um, all the different diseases and, and epidemics that we have encountered over the many, many, many years. Uh, this one I got because we, this is going to be for me. I'm going to read this one uh, overlapping with our Civil War study, which we're currently working on. Um, and this one had some mixed reviews. There was one woman who was very unhappy with it, but there were many people who really liked it. So I'm going to give it a try. This is to go in my son's box um, for hunting and fishing and survival. Like I said, we were trying to make Shark Week, and this came in just in time for Shark Week. But um, we will just create our own Shark Week another week. Nothing wrong with that, right? It's a pretty cool book, actually. I really quite like it. This one is for my son. One of his topics he chose was cars, and this is the DK book, A Definitive Visual History of the Automobile. So this goes all the way back to the beginning first automobiles 20s 30s 40s 50s and works its way up through all of the decades and literally just takes you through. I mean it's it's a DK encyclopedia so it's a big guy I mean and and the book outlet prices I want to say I got this book for around eight to ten dollars I mean just their prices are just so good. Almost everything else in here. I mean, most of these other books are under five easy, but everything STEM handbook. I haven't had a chance to look through this one, 
obviously you see me just pulling it out of the box but i'm kind of excited about this one um, from what i saw on amazon i mean it's got just all sorts of stem activities that you can put together most of them are with pretty basic things some food chemistry and guys look at this national parks book if you're doing national parks look at it i saw that they still had this one as of last week so if you're interested, we have already kind of covered some of the national parks, but this book was pretty fabulous. And I ended up never buying one. I used all library books. And so I want to just have this one on hand, even because we are just travelers um, normally, not right now so much, but I would like to just have this so that when we're going to travel places, I've got a really cool reference. There is definitely something back here. Look at, I can feel, I don't know what this is. Oh, it's a quarter collector. I do remember reading that it came with a quarter collector, so you can collect the National Park coin collector. America the Beautiful Quarters. Cool, right? And this one, I'm kind of excited for my son on this one. This is the Guns of the NRA. And this also was like a $45 book, and I think I got this for around 10, if I'm not mistaken. Huge book. So again, my son, he's a trap shooter. He does trap um, and uh, sporting clays and all that good stuff. And then he also is starting to do hunting. Uh, he's got a couple hunts ready to go this year for the first time. Um, so he's got a number of shotguns and stuff. And so I thought he might find this interesting. So that, my friends, is my book haul. The box is empty. These are all of my goodies. I hope you found that interesting. I hope you found some books you hadn't already seen. And maybe, even though it's been a month since I put my order in book outlet, still has some of them. I'm almost positive as of last week they still had this National Parks one. All right. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thanks for stopping in. Bye.